Uh, I'm Lee of Burger Records. I'm Sean of Burger Records. I'm Gabe from Gap Dream. Hamburger Records. Hamburger Records. <laughs> he moved in from mm-hmm. Ohio. Now he lives with us. I so live with him now. Now we're Came stuck the in the middle. Yeah. yeah. Or so yeah. he is stuck in the middle. Yep. But I'm not uh, anywhere. no, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> So but, yeah, uh, yeah Burger Burger Burger, uh, we started uh, just as like self-releasing, like a vanity label put out our own bands, uh, records and tapes, and then we moved on to our friends, and it snowballed into our idols, and then uh, a couple years ago, Sean, another uh, partner of ours, Brian, opened up Burger Records, the store, and then uh, now we've been open every day for nearly four years, we never close, we're open 10 hours a day. And we buy, sell, trade, and we love we love records and music, and uh, we changed our lives. Yeah, and me and Lee met each other when we were in high school, and we grew up going to record stores. And, and shows. Uh, and shows, and just collecting music and taking chances on things. and Based that's on producing like, credits yeah, or any like studio. Right. And that's what's great about like. independent record stores, is that you can find weird stuff that you're... It'll surprise you. You never yeah. know what you're gonna find. That's the beauty of it. But when you go to like Best Buy or something or a huge chain, you they're know, yeah, you know what you're gonna yeah, get right. because it's what's on the radio. It's what's popular. You're not yeah. gonna discover music there. You go to independent record stores, especially if it's used. Yeah. used. I love, yeah. I love dirty records. Yeah, I mean, dirty records, like, used records, yeah. like getting in there and hailing all the. Getting like a copy of like White Light White Heat used somewhere for like fourteen dollars is. I'll give you seven. For <laughs> seven. You <laughs> <Yeah>. seven. <laughs>